Hey guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, we're going to be setting up Zenless Zone Zero. As I know, it's a very popular game that people have been playing for the past couple of days. And I thought, why not do a tutorial on it of how to set it up on Linux? As I know, there's you know, lots of people, still lots of people that are coming over and they may want to you know find out about Zenless Zone Zero. Like, oh, how do I set that up? You know, how do I install the launcher to install the game? Well, this is what this tutorial is going to be made for today. So the first step that we are going to grab is called Bottles. Uh, it is a wine game manager launcher you could say uh, for managing different uh, Windows software including playing games so if you have a game launcher like as you can see right here this is bottles right here like I have a Ubisoft bottle a Blizzard bottle and a Zenless Zone Zero bottle so you can kind of like separate things it's really cool so uh, to get bottles we need to go to our discover store and just type in bottles and then we just grab it here we're gonna grab the flat pack version of bottles uh, you want to make sure if like your flat pack is installed it should be installed in the majority of Distros. If you don't, uh, just go through the uh, Flatpak website and look through the documentation of how to install Flatpak, but it should be installed on most uh, distros. After Bottles is installed, uh, we want to grab Flat Seal also. This is for managing Flatpak applications, so we can change the permissions on uh, these applications. So, one of the reasons we are grabbing Flat Seal is because we want to add extra drives if you want to install this game on like your extra SSD, for example, instead of installing it on your main um, system system drive. So uh, we want to scroll all the way down to file system. So we start up here, you want to scroll all the way down to file system. And you want to go to add, uh, other files. So we want to click the add button here, and then we want to add the path of where the drive is mounted. Now, if it's mounted in slash MNT, I would highly advise that you um, switch the, the mount to somewhere else, because I know MNT likes to misbehave a lot uh, with certain applications like Steam, for example. And I think wine and bottles have done it in the past for me where they've just like misbehaved. So that's why I always mount my SSDs in a separate place in slash games or slash extra games. That's my other one. And it works perfectly fine and it has read and write access properly on um, Steam and, and bottles. They all work perfectly fine. So that's where I'm going to mount mine. You can do, do the same if you want to with a, a certain um, partition manager for mounting it like Keddy partition manager. That is a good one to use to mount your SSDs. But if you're just going to install it on your main system uh, SSD or whatever, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but for me, I'm going to add my slash games. And we want to, um, you know, launch bottles. It's going to go through the start um, entry thing that comes up. You just want to go through it. It's going to set everything up for you. And we want to go to preferences here and go to runners. So this is where we want to grab the latest Proton GE version, uh, which is based on Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. But then it's forked by a guy called Glorious Eggroll. He maintains YNG and Nobara, you may have heard of that distro, he maintains all this uh, and he updates Proton GE a lot, a lot more than Wine GE because he's not really maintaining Wine GE anymore. So I wouldn't recommend Wine GE, I would recommend using Proton GE and go with the latest version. And then after you grab the latest version, you want to create your bottle and then select the gaming environment. And then you want to call uh, the, the bottle whatever you want. For me, it's um, Zenless Zone Zero because that is what the bottle is going to be for, is for running Zenless Zone Zero and the, and the launcher inside of it. And after it's done creating, which may take a while because it has to download a, a lot of things, I would say, you want to go into it and you want to go into settings. And we want to go to the runner and select the latest Proton GE version, which mine is a newer one because I injected it into bottle but don't worry about that. Uh, the, the latest one that Bottles has is perfectly fine for Zenless Zone Zero, so don't worry about it. And you'll probably get this update uh, in the preferences that we will just back in. So uh, you don't have to wait that long, but you just want to select the latest Proton GE version. Don't worry about the DXVK or VKD, VKD3D stuff. That is perfectly fine. Uh, you want to leave the discrete graphics enabled. That is perfectly fine also. And if you want uh, Manga HUD, which is a FPS overlay on Linux, uh, you can install it. You just want to either go to your store, search up Manga HUD, and you should be able to find a Manga HUD version. If you install it and you relaunch bottles and it's still grayed out, then you're going to have to launch your terminal, which I know is very scary. And we want to do Flatpak install Manga HUD. And it's going to come up with a couple things here, which is, we want to grab the latest free desktop platform Vulkan layer Manga HUD version, which is 23.08. It's the one for me in the GUI store, for some reason, picks the the um, Valve version, which doesn't work on bottles, and I don't think is it's even used necessarily. I'm pretty sure the free desktop one is the one that's used. So you just want to go to the latest one and then relaunch bottles, and then the option should be available there for you to tick it on. And then the next thing is if you want to install like on your 
different extra drives or drives or whatever, like what we did with Flatseal to give it the permission. We want to go to manage drives here. We want to add a new letter and then click this little button here to choose a directory. And that's where I'm going to select games. Click OK. And now that the directory is shown. Now, the next part, we're going to have to grab the Hoyu Play launcher, which is pretty easy to grab. You just want to grab it from the official website from uh, Zone Zero or the Hoyaverse website or whatever, which I'll leave it linked down below so you can just grab it directly. Or if you, you want to, you can just go into your like you know, your browser and just search it up. And after it's done, you just want to click Run Executable. And then find uh, the you know, .exe for the Zenless Zone Zero, which is right here. And it's going to install the um, Hoyu Play Launcher, which is the launcher for launching all of Hoyu versus like um, games that they have. So then after that's done uh, installing, you can just basically you know, launch it. It probably is already launched for you. And here we are, now it's launched. Uh, so the next thing is we can um, install the game, uh, which of course, when you install it, you can um, select the uh, different uh, directory Oh no, as we can see here, uh, now that you've like completed uh, installing, that's basically it. You can click start game uh, and that is it. It will it should just launch as it is right now. And our FPS uh, overlay is working perfectly fine as it should. And you can just start playing the game. And it runs exceptionally well on AMD, I would say. Um, on my RX 6700, it's running pretty well. And I'll show gameplay also of it running on NVIDIA. I, I, I did test it on my RTX 2060 and it did indeed work perfectly fine. Uh, this is a desktop GPU, by the way. All right, as you can see, now we're actually in some gameplay. And uh, as you can see, it's like, you know, 170 FPS. That's pretty good for me, I would say. Um, and we can like, you know, just play the game. We can switch between different characters. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't personally enjoy these games really that much, uh, but it is pretty cool though. You, can, you know, if you do enjoy these types of games, it's pretty awesome. Um, and that's about it really. Uh, you know, when it comes to like other things like temperature, power output, um, you know, VRAM, VRAM temperature, my RAM, everything seems to be running really well and I haven't experienced um, any crashes when I was playing on NVIDIA or AMD. I played for around like two hours I would say on both hardware, so around an hour each and I didn't experience any problems. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely can give it a like. And uh, thank you to, you know, uh, 5,000 subscribers also. I really do appreciate that. And um, thank you to my members also. I'll show a screenshot of them. I really do appreciate you guys giving uh, me money every month for the, uh, you know, tutorials and stuff that I do on this uh, channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.